it's never too early to take a peek at the 2019 NFL draft. And here's a look at some of the top prospects that I'll be keeping a watchful eye on as we head into the 2018 season. Kicking off this video with the top quarterback prospect in the Patriot League and Lehigh's Brad Mays, and what makes Mays a special talent is in his ability to throw a touch at every level of the field. His velocity and arm strength I think is underrated, and he's got very good pocket presence as well. Every year he's played, he has gotten better, and going into his senior season, he has a chance to put up some monster numbers, and if he's able to do that without Troy Pelletier and Gatlin Casey on the perimeter, then scouts will start to take notice even more. A couple of tailbacks to keep an eye on that have next level talent are James Holland Jr. of Colgate and Don Bragalone of Lehigh. Holland is a compactly built runner that has excellent balance. Last year, he was on a three week tear going over 100 yards all three weeks and we'll see what he can do as a senior. Bragalone has been outstanding since stepping foot on campus going for over 1,000 yards each and every year. Last season, a 5'11", 230 pound South Williamsport, Pennsylvania native ran for over 1,300 yards and 18 touchdowns. He brings the killer bees to the back and that's both burst and balance, both of which are what you need to be successful at the next level. Looking at the receivers and tight ends in the Patriot League, I'm a big fan of Blaze Bell of Holy Cross. He's an excellent athlete and has the versatility to play inside as a big slot or outside as a flanker. And speaking of athlete, Thomas Ives of Colgate is an excellent one. He's 6'5", 210 with the frame to get up to about 220 without losing that speed or athleticism. He's a good red zone target on the perimeter and also down the seams. He's versatile enough to play split or flanker. And tight end Isaiah Searight out of Fordham has a chance to really blossom as a senior after finishing third on the squad last year in receiving score scoring four touchdowns. Two really good Holy Cross defenders in edge rusher Teddy Capsis and linebacker Ryan Brady. Now Capsis has top-notch awareness and is a really good run defender. He also had nine TFLs and six sacks last season. Brady has excellent sideline to sideline speed, finishing second on the team in tackles with 110, second in TFLs with 10, and also four sacks. He's been named to a couple of preseason All-American teams so far and should garner a lot of attention from pro scouts. Wrapping up in the secondary with Fordham's Dylan Maven, he's a lengthy corner that was in on 19 pass breakups which is impressive. Also impressive were his 35 solo stops, which tells you he's not afraid to come up and make a tackle. Bucknell's Brian Marine is a four-year starter and has terrific instincts and shows very good ability in both man and zone coverage. He's also an explosive athlete as well, as evident by his ability as a returnman at times for the Bison. It's going to be interesting to see how the All-American closes out what has been a fantastic career with the Blue and Orange. So that's a wrap from Football Game Plan's FCS kickoff. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts and don't forget to check out and subscribe to the FCS Opening Drive podcast on iTunes and also on SoundCloud where Dave Hashagan and myself dive deeper into the world of the FCS. And don't forget to subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network on YouTube where you can find all of our FCS video content at youtube.com slash football game plan.